there is a, a tremendous uh, power and uh, distinction in um, indigenous art. There is a need to develop knowledge and also appreciation for uh, these art forms which have been um, handed down to us from time immemorial. And there's so much also to learn about the relationship between the indigenous art that was made in this part of the world and other places in the world. The importance of a chair in historical indigenous art I think will enhance the study of, for one, contemporary life and social relations between Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people, and also, you know, shed some light on what contemporary art is as well at the same time. And this type of research chair can really contribute to new ways of thinking and being in the world. It kind of shifts the study of art history from being largely focused on the West to being a world art history. So we can look at visual culture, we can look at the history of images in a much broader perspective that better reflects on the multicultural societies in which we live today. A deeper knowledge of the art of BC's First Peoples will help us build cultural respect and promote indigenous ways of knowing at UBC. Through his philanthropy, Michael Alday has consistently championed the visual arts and emerging artists, helped preserve BC's cultural history, and been an enthusiastic partner in UBC's commitment to indigenous peoples and culture. I think this is a position that could bring collections, research projects, communities, and teaching, and as a result, actually introduce much more object-based learning into UBC's curriculum. The potential that a research chair of this caliber has is to re-articulate historical relationships as well as historical studies of indigenous culture, and through that, it can inform a present day uh, realities and relationships. I hope that the um, chair will be an opportunity to enhance the knowledge and uh, respect for historical art making by indigenous people, both on the west coast of Canada, but also throughout the world.